First and foremost, happy July 4th, everyone. Sorry about my eyes being a little bit uh, squinty, but it is very bright out here today. It's 100 degrees here in North Texas. Getting ready to start the barbecue, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm bummed. I'm bummed. I went out to go grab my corn. Felt like today was a good day to go ahead and harvest a couple of ears of corn, and um, the birds got to them. The birds got to them in a big way. They ate five or six of my largest corn on the cobs, if you will. Almost, they stripped it all the way down to the bone. They must have been picking at it yesterday and today because two days ago those cobs were just about ready to be picked. Really, I probably could have picked them, but I didn't. And what do you know, I postponed it for a couple of days. I thought, I'll just grab them on July 4th. Sure enough, July 4th comes, that's today. Go to harvest them. Well, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you a wrap up at the end. I've got a few clips of me de-shucking a couple of the ones that were not as full, but hey, it's what we got. Let's go check out these clips and see the damage the birds did. So here's my corn. It's about five feet tall. Some of them it's four feet, some of it's six feet. But I noticed back here, boom, an entire full ear of corn stripped completely by the birds. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's a bummer. I didn't uh, expect the birds to get it, so I decided then I better check the rest of them. So I started with all of my full ears. And as you can see, I'm pulling them off right now and I'm checking and I'm like, wow, look at how much of this corn was stripped. They even took the skin off, if you will, and decided to continue to eat them. I started grabbing other ones, noticed that this one had some damage, plucked it away just like the last one, and boom. Everything exposed was gone. So I decided to keep on looking, see if I could find anything worth it, and started grabbing all the smalls as well. Figured I'd just pile up my harvest and see what we got. I was really bummed about this one because this was gonna be one of my most full ones, but once again, bird damage. You can see the extent of the damage right here. I kind of exposed it a little bit just to show it. What a bummer, could've been my best year ever. I do think it's funny that all of my full ears they ate and they didn't touch any of the smalls. I guess we'll go inside and see what kind of harvest we get. The one year I start growing corn well and the birds got to it. These were fine two days ago. I didn't harvest them yesterday. And between two days ago and today, the birds have completely annihilated my corn. So it's not much to look at, but I figured I'd grab the couple of the kind of untouched ones. These were from one of the stalks that was damaged from the wind, of course. And I just wanted to get an idea of how the pollination went on a couple of the larger ears because I've struggled with pollination, as you guys know, if you watched my previous years of trying to grow corn. Still, even though this one wasn't fully pollinated, as you can see right here, it's not a bad example. It, it has sporadic pollination in some areas, but it's probably 75, 80% pollinated. So I'll take it. I've done a lot worse. Grab the second one here, again, from the same couple of stalks that were knocked down from the wind. This is one where obviously the top part of the cob did not get pollinated. Still, when I look at the bottom part after breaking the top part off, it actually would have been a pretty good corn on the cob. It looked like it was getting mostly pollinated except for this little strip right there overall i'm happy with it it is one of my better years so figured i'd end this video on a quick look i'm just giving them a quick soak make sure nothing's in there obviously as normal i did have some smalls this year again the series of events was pretty uh unfortunate as soon as i got my pollinating tassels out and they were dry enough to drop pollen i literally could just tap the uh, stalks and pollen was raining down on the silks but as soon as that happened, we had a huge windstorm, and wouldn't you know it, it knocked all my corn flat. I had to tie it back up to straighten it back up. Once that happened, even though I got them resituated and set back up, they stopped growing. So a lot of the small stalks ended up only being about four feet tall, which means they produce smaller ears. And you know, the birds got to this one as well, but this is about the best I can hope for typically every year. We did get almost 100% pollination on this small ear. And then we also have other ones where 
They're this size. And this one, the birds just started to get to. I must have scared them away when I walked over there. But this one is not 100% pollinated. Although it'll still eat fine. It's just not jam-packed. Some areas look really well. And then we also had ones that were, this was a full cob that I cut in half because they ate the entire top half of it. And then we had some pretty good examples of almost near pollination. But you know what, overall, we would have had some pretty good ears on here, honestly, if the birds didn't strip them. And had I been paying attention yesterday, I probably would have caught a lot of this. Oh well, I'll still be pretty happy eating this. This is still my best year, believe it or not, ever. And I would have planted more if I thought I was gonna have success. But as you guys know, I haven't been able to grow corn. And the one year we actually had it figured out with the soil and the fertilizer and the watering regime, we get a 60, 70 mile per hour windstorm, flattens my corn, then we get nonstop rain during the week that the pollinating tassels are out. And then finally, when I get ready to harvest it for a pretty decent harvest, we lose half of it to the birds, if not more. And really more because I'm only showing you the cobs that I could get something off of maybe. I didn't show you all the ones that were stripped to the bone. Anyway, there you have it, everyone. That's my corn video. Once again, as we struggle for yet another year, if it's not the lack of pollination, it's the lack of fertilization. And if it's not those two, it's Mother Nature's birds grabbing my harvest. Oh well, that's part of gardening. You live and learn. Hope everyone has a great July 4th. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to watch my video. Stay safe out there. And as always, everyone, happy gardening and thanks for watching.